Okay, okay. Hey guys, so today we're going to be making um, a super simple walking cane. So first thing you wanna do is just go ahead, open up a new scene, and then go ahead and create a cylinder. Go ahead, click space, go into your front view, and we're gonna be adding in our reference for the cane. So go to view, image plane, import image, and then you can go ahead and find your reference. I'll try and link mine in the description, um, but you can just kind of use whichever one you think um, looks the best, doesn't really matter. So next thing, just click R and then you can scale it up to maybe be the width of um, our cylinder and then just move it into place so that it's like pretty even with our little cylinder. Um, and then whenever you got that done, just go ahead and click W and move it up um, so that this is kind of on the ground. Good. Go ahead and click your cylinder and then change the Y to one so that it moves to our ground as well. All right, now go ahead, click on the cylinder, click vertex, select just the top vertices and then click W and then you're gonna end up dragging all the way up to the top. Actually, let's go even a little bit further because it's gonna bend around. All right, that looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go into the multi-cut tool and then go ahead and zoom in a little bit and then hold control and click the middle button. We're just gonna be making a ton of um, multi-cuts here and there. Try and make them a little even. You can see I just added three, so now I'll go through and add middle uh, clicks in between all of those and then I would do one more in between each of them like that All right, that looks pretty good. Next thing we're gonna be doing is um, Select um, invert vertex mode click Q and select these top vertices and click W and Then you're gonna be pushing them over. Do you see where um, the little break is in our um, cane? Go ahead. I'm gonna select this vertex row and then just move them a little bit down to there. And then let's select the rest of the vertices and click W and just move them over so it follows that silhouette. And then do that with the rest of them so that it gets a bit closer. Um, we're gonna have to move this a little bit down and then probably in like that. And then move these guys over like that. And you're just gonna keep going until you've got um, just your basic um, silhouette down. Try and be pretty accurate. Um, I understand that it's working with uh, kind of some weird shapes, but yeah. The um, next thing we're gonna also be doing is we'll be, um, if you click E, you can rotate them like that to be like your handle. So here, let's do that and then drag it down and then we can scale it a little bit. So it looks like we need to rotate this row of vertices uh, right here, just a little bit. So click E and then, you know, rotate them so that it looks a little bit cleaner. You'll move it. This guy needs to be moved like that. And then these guys just need to be brought down a little bit so that it's a little bit more straight. And then these guys gotta be brought into about there. All right, so next thing we're gonna be doing is um, let's add some more multi-cuts and then let's scale um, them out to make this cool handle. So we're gonna need a multi-cut probably like there and then probably here. Just do it in the high and the lows um, of your um, handle and you should be good. All right, go into vertex mode, click Q and then select those vertices that you just did, click R, and then hold control and scale um, your right axis, axis. And then let's scale these guys in a little bit like that. I'm gonna scale these guys on the edge up and then scale these guys a little bit. Just follow your silhouette as much as you need to. Um, Kind of up to you how you want to make it look. All right, so that looks pretty good for the handle. You can click three, 
kind of see how it's gonna round out. Um, we'll bevel edges and everything so it'll fix it. But um, next thing we need to do is go ahead and add um, some multi-cuts down here. So, um, looks like we need to add some multi-cuts here. So, go into object mode and then go to multi-cut mode, hold control and click wherever you think there needs to be um, some multi-cuts and then go into vertex and click Q and scale those as well. You can just click R and then hold control and then scale on this axis. Um, that way it makes it even going all the way around. All right, and then we'll bevel these guys too. Um, you can go into perspective mode and kind of see how it's rounding out. Oh, another thing. When, um, click on your reference in object mode, if you can. And then um, on the right, click on looking through camera. That way we won't see it when we go into perspective mode. I forgot that part at the beginning. All right, so let's go through and just bevel some edges. So go into edge mode. Um, we're gonna need to bevel a lot of these guys. So um, remember control B is beveling. You wanna do two segments. So I'll just give you some time to go through and do that. Um, you can make yours as thick as you want. Totally up to you how you want your model to look. I tend to make mine a little bit tighter so that it looks um, a little bit cleaner. That just means that you're gonna have a smaller fraction. Um, but again, it's totally up to you how you want your model to look. All right, let's click three. All right, I'd say the handle's looking pretty good. That looks good. Now let's go ahead and bevel these bottom edges. Um, I'm actually going to probably scale this one out a little bit. Maybe. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one down. Like that. There we go. That looks a lot better. All right. And then bevel it. Two segments. I'm going to give it a smaller fraction. Mm, okay. And then bevel this guy. And always bevel um, your bottom as well. All right, and then click three. All right. So I like how it's looking. I think that's about it. Super easy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how yours turned out and if everything was all good. And um, I'll see you guys next time for whatever we're making next. Um, so yeah, bye guys.